Well, Mr. Speaker, last week the Premier and Environment Minister announced a $10 million government grant to SBI Bioenergy for the construction of a new biofuel production facility. Now, the, the announcement actually reminded me of mating elephants. It was done at a high level, there was a lot of trumpeting and stamping of feet, and it will take two years to see if we get any results. <laughs> But it got me to thinking, producing 240 million litres of biofuel is going to take a lot of canola. So to the Environment Minister, what is the total annual volume of canola feedstock that will be required to provide input for this venture, and how many seeded hectares of canola does this represent? Minister of Environment. Mr. Speaker, as I understand the matter, the, uh, the feedstock for this particular uh, uh, bioenergy refinery uh, is, can be very varied, uh, and uh, the, the fact is, is that they are using off-grade canola for which there is currently no market, providing a market to farmers for that product. Well, Mr. Speaker, it's good to know that the minister knows that it will use off-grade canola as the feedstock, but you see, our farmers don't set out to grow off-grade canola. Our farmers set out to grow feed-grade canola that can be sold at higher prices, and the amount of off-grade canola depends on weather and environmental conditions. So, can the Environment Minister inform the Assembly? If growing conditions are good and farmers are fortunate to grow enough food-grade canola, how and where will SBI Bioenergy source enough feedstock to run their operation? Minister of the Environment. Mr. Speaker, uh, this is a very innovative technology that can use a number of different uh, feedstock inputs for its uh, bioenergy refining, and that's why uh, the, the technology itself was so interesting uh, and uh, so worthy uh, of support from the CCEMC and a variety of private sector partners. I will uh, add that Dr. Inder Singh, who uh, is the head of SBI, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, is a leader in this field. Supplemental. Well, Mr. Speaker, we're certainly uh, proud of Dr. Singh as well, and that's why our previous government actually provided some of the original funding for this project. But the production of, of uh, biofuels presents us with many challenging moral and ethical questions. And given that many Albertans are asking whether it's more important to feed the hungry or feed Humvees, to the Minister of Agriculture, would you please comment on the moral and ethical implications of diverting agricultural products out of the global food supply? Minister of the Environment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, and thank you to the Honourable Member for the question. And those uh, uh, concerns are valid, and that is why this particular technology takes other kinds of feedstock not used in the agricultural uh, uh, food chain supply, Mr. Speaker. It takes, uh, there are a number of different waste products that it can use, and that is why, Mr. Speaker, this technology is so important for uh, one of the pieces of our uh, journey towards sustainability in this province, Mr. Speaker.